We're right here in Tokyo this week with John Branch, and we are going to be editing a shoot that I did in Imagine. And uh, there are some photos of Marshall, who's behind all of the cameras here. And uh, I'm joined by John Branch. Hi. What is your experience with Imagine? I saw your face on their website. <laughs> <laughs> what is my experience? I use them a lot. And they contacted me, and I was mind blown when I first used it. And ever since, I've been a huge Imagine fan forever. That's, that's my involvement. I like it. Well, let's begin. Let's begin editing this shoot. And in the time of this podcast, the entire shoot will be finished, probably before that. Yeah, actually. way before that. Um, <laughs> when you, so you go out, you shoot a wedding. How many images do you shoot total on a wedding day usually? So since I use two bodies, I pretty much shoot around 4,000-ish. So 2,000 per camera. Yeah. Um, that's pretty general unless I'm feeling myself and maybe I'll do like 6,000, but yeah, 4,000. And then coming back, um, imagine we'll be doing culling and I've, I've seen the new culling system and it's really, really good. Um, so I'm very excited for that. Um, what does your call look like? How many images do you end up delivering or do you end up with 1,000 and end up delivering 700 of those or? It ranges, um, I would say I, I try to like give my couples pretty much what's good, yeah. but it use it's usually around like twelve hundred to eight hundred, depending on how long the day is. Um, yeah, so, sometimes fifteen hundred, but I'd say a thousand is like a smart. Do you separate them uh, when you upload them? Is it like by parts of the day, or do you just give them one full size gallery? I do separate them. So generally, what I'll do is um, I call it which a lot of times I cull by hand, but I have been using the beta culling yep. in Imagine, which is actually pretty good. Um, so I'll do that, and then I section off the day by like parts of the day, like getting ready and speeches and so on and so forth. Yeah, and then I'll upload it, imagine it, we'll make that a version. Is that a term? Yeah, it's gonna I be I think you now. might have just coined that. <laughs> Trademark pending. Imagine it, and then, uh, yeah. Then it comes in because everything's already separated because it just uses the catalog and then export each section. It's nice. Nice. Um, I have a question for you as somebody that uses Imagine. Does building smart previews speed up anything or is it the same? I built smart previews on this project, so. I believe so. Um, I know I always use them. I always do smart previews because um, I think it's uploading the smart previews. I'm kind of I'm kind of sad when it comes to the technicality of Imagine. Yeah, I just know how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. So I built smart previews of this project. I built smart previews, and uh, there are 49 images total. How long is that? Gonna, that's gonna take Imagine like nine seconds, right? Yeah. Five all right. Minutes so we're gonna use your profile. Natural feels. And we're gonna come down here. These are all the profiles that you can just immediately use. Where are you? Well, you're at the top almost. Yeah. Most top used. I think I'm in the top three. Damn. All right. Use the edit. So you select that it's a wedding. You drop down here into your Lightroom catalogs. Close Lightroom. Yes, I really want to close Lightroom. Ooh. Skin smoothing now to beta. Yeah. And here we are. Do I've, I've actually never used skin smoothing, so I'm going to use that for the first time here. Do it. I've, it. I've never used what it What options either. do you have? I'm about to peek. You can peek. You can, we can do this together. Sorry, my screen's a mess. So you can change how intense it is when wow. you custom here. I'm gonna, I usually trust the developing team. So uh, we'll say skin smooth, moderate, and I'm gonna select all the images, natural feels. I also use straightening for everything. Yeah, um, I always straighten. It's, I think even just the simple, cause I always shoot everything on like a tiny little slant. Yep. And I think even just the fact that everything is just straight makes a lot of images feel more professional and especially family formals when you shoot them in front of a fireplace and everything's just like oh yeah that's good that's good and then it's just like it's all you go back after the day yeah. what have i done <laughs> it's not so good and why then, did i do this subject mask do you use uh, subject mask sometimes okay. um a lot of times i won't though because i don't shoot back lit a lot so for me it will end up masking stuff that just doesn't need to be yeah. i only have maybe like a 5% backlit photos, if anything. I got <laughs> I got viewers, shout out to Beth. She always gets on me because I hate on backlit photos all the time. <laughs> and you can also edit subject mask if you want it less intense. You mm -hmm. can do that too, make it a little bit more subtle. Um, so straightening, subject mask, smooth skin, and upload right Boom. now. 
and you hit the button and it's probably done. I'm curious how fast this will actually go. I, I'm usually processing, I would say, maybe 700, 2000 images. And I mm -hmm. think that's about 10 minutes, 10 minutes of time yeah. and you get an email back and you open it. And um, kind of the way the system works is that it just, you're uploading smaller um, smart previews of the photos that you're sending. So you're not uploading the entire high res gallery to them. And uh, Imagine will also work as a backup system as well. So if you have the cloud storage, all of your raw files can go there and they just live there as a, an offsite backup. The backups are so good. Um, and that's, that's very nice. I feel like I have so many layers of backups and I don't mind adding one more to the mix. Yeah, 49, 49 photos though should be done in Instant. two minutes, yeah. Half the time I don't even have enough time to check my emails. I'll be like, great, let me do this shoot real quick. Like I'll do a portrait shoot for YouTube and come away, I'll let it cull it fully, edit it five minutes, boom. Yeah, all right, it is uploaded and now we wait. One of the reasons that I like editing with Imagine and using different profiles is because I think I know how I like to edit my images and sometimes I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that it just does a better job or it interprets an image in a way. Um, and also just using different people's profiles, uh, it, I don't know, it just, adds a little bit of something to my work, I think. Yeah. Um, it makes me think in a slightly different way sometimes. Um, done. There it is. So fast. Completed. Uh, the other thing you can do if you are building your own profile um, is that you can, after you download the edits, if they're not exactly what you want them to be, you can make some small tweaks and then you sync it again with the system and it will actually just update your profile. So it'll begin, uh, if, you if you're building your own profile, I guess, talk about that a little bit. How many images did you build your or train your profile with? It's less now, I think. You don't need that many. Yeah, I think I started with 3,500, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've done it. Um, and then I've been retraining it. I think I'm almost at the stage of being able to retrain it again. I can't remember how many photos. I think it, it shows you if you want to train it harder. Fine tune history. Yeah, the fine tune, that's right. Thank you. Can't think of the words. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, I'm almost, I'm almost up to another fine tune. So I fine tuned it once and I'm close to fine tuning it again. Yeah. So the fine tuning is nice too because you're just continually adding photos. So especially as like a wedding photographer, pretty much you call with Imagine, edit, go back and double check your edits, make sure they're exactly what you want. And then you just re-upload them and you keep doing that and it like fine tunes it you can keep doing it and it just really starts narrowing it down because that's i think the biggest question people always ask me is like you know like oh what if the lighting situation is different but it really it will learn all of it yeah. and start getting it right it's actually kind of crazy <laughs> it's just pattern recognition whatever you would do in the past and then i think there's some sort of baseline probably built in i don't know what the code looks like but it seems like it started at a significantly better place than the images that i gave it so i gave it kind of the minimum images it needed and it seemed like it already kind of knew how to interpret most scenes and it was just using my images to kind of add the tweaks. And it's like, okay, so when it's a backlit image, this is what Taylor does. When it's a incandescent image, he likes his white balance somewhere um, on the warmer end of things. And it's been pretty much bang on, I would say, um, for full wedding days across like multiple different environments from getting ready to inside a big church to some maybe backlit shots, some maybe flash shots, uh, incandescent lights. It's just very consistent using one single profile. Images, ready to go. Download to review. It takes just a few seconds. You're just downloading XMP files. You're not even downloading the full smart previews. Open your Lightroom catalog and we're done. Maybe. There's also an option that you can tweak. So if you do happen to come in here and you make a few different, let's see, where's one? Where's a good one? So if you do come in here and there's something that you want to do this image that it didn't do exactly correct, you can make those tweaks and then you go back into Imagine and you can fine tune John's profile. Exactly. And you can make it natural fields for you. <laughs> Should I just export it? It looked good. Are we done? I always love seeing my profile. I'm like, hey, that looks great. I like it. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Here's a picture of Marshall. That's beautiful. So let's do a little before and after. So that's what it was before and it straightened it. Oops, I reset it. I've ruined everything. Here we go. That's the edit. Nice. So before, what is the before button? Yeah, before, after. That looks so much better. 
Also, skin smoothing. Oh yeah, right? it's looking nice. It's really subtle, it's good, <laughs> it's good. I like that. I'd appreciate that feature. Here we are at 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven again. The magenta looks so good. Marshall again. <laughs> Damn, I think the shoes, edit. There's the original, the edit. It's done, yep, it's ship done. it. It's good. Here we go, exporting. Sending directly to Vogue magazine. <laughs> it's going to be published immediately. And there it is, editing. A full shoot. And imagine with John Branch and John Branch's profile. <laughs> and now I can fine tune it and make it my own. I hope you've had a nice time. There's a number of cameras here. Thank you to Marshall for Which recording. What do we look at? <laughs> and if you want to get started with Imagine, there's a link in the description. Uh, 1,500 edits free for you. So you're able to use it and make sure it actually is going to work for you. But I do believe that it's going to work for you. Use that link in the description because you get 500 bonus edits rather than if you just go to the regular Imagine website. That's all from us here. I guess we go back into the world of Tokyo <laughs> and take some pictures with the all new X106 yeah. from Fujifilm. I'm gonna, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's too close.